Arbitrage is being described as downright Hitchcockian, and its New York premiere certainly has that old Hollywood glamour. Everyone already believes that Wall Street is immoral. Why add a capital crime to the mix? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure there are capital crimes already on Wall Street, mm. so we're not probably the only ones adding it. I think it's just a great story. When I read this script, there were two mixes to me. We, we started this movie in the time of Madoff, but then this other element of the film reminded me a lot of Chappaquiddick mm -hmm. and Ted Kennedy. Yeah. So oh, it's yeah. a mixture of people who have power and will... As I think the subtitle is uh, Power is the Greatest Ally or Alibi, alibi or something like that. Yeah. Mm. I, I think that's very much what our movie's about. The movies is uh, about pictures, right? They're moving. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, you know, when you want to have some real cinema, it's nice to be visceral mm -hmm. and to really get in touch with those primal feelings that we all have, you know, of love and hate, jealousy, passion. So uh, I thought it was cool to take the financial world and explore it, but then also to, to take maybe a paper crime and to turn it into a blood crime. I think it's pretty clear that Wall Street has become the new favorite villain of Hollywood over gangsters. Mm -hmm. What do you think is so appealing about them to audiences in that role? Well, I think that the last few years have been very difficult for America, and I think a lot of people probably don't have the fondest feelings towards uh, people on Wall Street right now. You know, if you see over 10 years, you're in constant decline in the poverty, and there are more people in poverty, and there are less people kind of pushing into that top yeah. 1%. People have an opinion about it. Definitely. So uh, I think it's important to make films like this, so it starts a discourse and a dialogue. I think it's fascinating to try to understand how they keep getting away with it, and, and instead of ending up in jail, actually end up in government or end mm -hmm. up getting bonuses. So. I think people are watching Wall Street in a different way than they did before. You're getting a lot of comparisons to Hitchcock in your early press. Uh, is that intentional? Is that an intentional choice? Yes, I planned it that way. <laughs> I thought that everybody would say that I was like Hitchcock. Nick is really well versed in film history and I think he wanted to make a thriller mm -hmm. and it's like really is a Faustian thriller. What Hitchcock understood really was suspense mm -hmm. and he in Vertigo, which is my favorite film, has in other films, he can really build uh, a mood that you feel you yeah. know I think when people go to the cinema they pay their ten dollars and they want to feel something yeah because that's the way this entertainment connects with people so he was the master of the suspense feeling and um, I'm just proud to, to work in the tradition that he created and my last question for you is it's a very crowded Oscar season ball movie season what do you hope audiences remember about arbitrage what do you hope stands out uh, uh, Richard Gere's performance. And I think that Richard's performance is very, very special, and I think it's a really solid movie. Richard gives a stunning performance, and I think it's a really complicated character. He's not, you know, this sort of like easy, charismatic, likable guy. You know, everybody on this line uh, who's come through to be interviewed, I asked them, what do they hope people remember about the film? And they've said, your performance. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, what do you think? I think the ensemble is one of the best ensembles I've ever worked oh, with. Oh, that's wonderful. And really, I mean, everyone top to bottom. I mean, you know, we had a lineup here of, of five or six of the actors. They're all terrific, terrific. Well, what do you hope stands out about your performance in the film? What do you hope audiences take away with it? Oh, just that it's real, it's human. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we all have problems. Oh, great. And I think we should see ourselves in the character.